All right, guys, so we got the car in the shop, and the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, we'll get a good look at this engine bay real quick. I did already put the alternator bracket on and the belt, so we're going to get to work on this thing, trying to get the engine bay completely wrapped up, but the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the TGVs on. Um, I got some new gaskets for these to go in between this and the block, so we're going to put those on just to make sure it's a good seal, clean up both sides of the surface. Uh, I took the fuel rails and the injectors off and installed them onto the TGVs just so it would be a little bit easier when we go to put them on. So I won't have to deal with putting them on when the TGVs are already bolted down. They're already on there. just have to hook up the fuel lines. So I'm going to go ahead and put both of those on. I'm going to try to put you guys on a little time lapse. If not, this is only going to be one of the many things we're going to do in this video. So I'll keep you guys up to date. We'll get all the harness stuff right there plugged in to all the coils and the cam sensors and the injectors and then we'll fill you guys in so stay tuned let's go So as you can see, I have the TGV bolted down. It's not actually bolted down tight, it's still just hand tight, but everything is really, really difficult to work on in here because uh, like you guys know, I fed some of the breather lines through the middle of the TGVs and also the whole entire harness. So plugging the coil packs in and the injectors, cam sensor and the solenoid here is pretty difficult so it took me about 30 minutes just to put this one in like you see it i still left the fuel lines off just because it'll help me get the turbo on later i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and we'll catch up with you guys after i get that one on. all right guys so i just got the driver's side tgv on got all the hoses and harness ran through plugged in that's all good and tight i'm gonna go ahead and get the catch can installed the only thing that happened with the catch can when i took it apart so I had to take these fittings out to get it powder coated, same colors, also powder coat looks so sick. But anyway, this one kind of galled up on the passenger side, so it sits like this. Um, so I had to use a 3 8 tap to kind of clean it out, and I ordered a new fitting for that. So I don't have the fitting yet, but put all the other fittings back in. I'm going to go ahead and put the drain in. It should still be in place down here, I think. So. Somewhere down there, I'll get it back in place and we'll put this in, bolt it up to the bracket right here. So there's the bracket it bolts on, sits just about like this, but I'll fill you guys in after I get this installed, so stay tuned. So I just got the catch can installed. As you can see, there's the three fittings right there. This one for the passenger side, this one off the main block breather, and this one off the driver side breather goes over there. So got the drain installed. Uh, there's a little valve under there where you can open or close it so that way you could drain it if you wanted to without making a mess all over the transmission. So got that installed and I mounted it on the bracket back here. Probably can't quite see that, but there's two bolts that mount it onto the bracket that goes to the pitch stop down here. So that is on there. Um, next thing we're gonna do, which is really exciting, we're gonna go ahead and put on the turbo housing. Just gonna bolt it up kind of loosely and get a good look at it and then hopefully get the front mount on and some of the intercooler piping. So stay tuned, let's get it.
right, it's starting to get a little dark here, but I got the housing on for the turbo. So you see that right there. I got the pipe that goes down to the intercooler and I started putting on the intercooler. I just left it kind of loose, just hand tight. Um, there's four mounting holes on the top here. And then I'll show you what we were looking at down here. So this is the bracket that holds it on the bottom side. So that way it has some support down there too. I didn't want to just leave it with the four holes on the top. So I did that and it turned out pretty nice. Um, the only thing is it's really hard to get these bolts started in the side. As you can see, there's not really much room for a wrench up in there and can't get your finger in there either. So it's really challenging to get this started. But as you can see, it really supports the whole entire system here and it has some wiggle in it just because it's still hand tight. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to test fit the first charge pipe there on the hot side of the turbo. And then maybe after we get that and maybe the other side on, we can tighten up this stuff. But for now, we're just gonna leave it loose and I'll get you guys a video doing that up there. All right, so it is a couple hours later and you might be wondering, why do I have the turbo back off? And it is very, very unfortunate. And this is something that I wouldn't always show, but it's just the reality of things can happen when you're working on stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and put this in here, but um, yeah, I got the turbo back off because one of the bolts that hold the turbo on decided to strip on me. And this hole right here, there was absolutely no threads in at all when I took it back off. And I didn't cross thread it, I started by hand. And so I don't know how that happened, but anyway, I went ahead and drilled it out for a helicoil. So I'm working on doing that now. This is the tap for a 5 16 18. It's size 2164 that you drill for a helicoil. So I drilled it with a 2164 right there and here. I got it drilled really straight. I got this tap. I'm working on getting it perfectly straight. I'm gonna put the threads in here and then we're gonna put a helicoil in here and then I'm gonna get back to it. Very, very unfortunate what's going on here right now, but we're gonna fix it and we'll get back to it. So just a harsh reality, but let's get it. So we have a well-deserved update right now. I got the turbo back on, uh, got the helicoil in. It was in this hole right here. So that one is the one with the helicoil in it. I put a little bit of blue Loctite on them and I, I didn't tighten the rest of them down nearly as aggressive as I had before because it's a steel bolt going into aluminum. So it's not gonna feel too good. So maybe it was my fault, maybe it wasn't, probably was. Doesn't matter, it's fixed. So got it done. Um, next thing we're gonna do, I guess, as you guys can see, I got the big intake charge pipe on that feeds the turbo air um, from under the fender well. So it's gonna feed it a little colder air than what it would if it was just, just cut off right here in the engine bay. So super happy with how that came out and just the powder coat looks ridiculous. Right now it's not sunny, it's obviously dark, but in the sun it's gonna pop like crazy. So I gotta see what I'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle next. I have a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking about taking a break from the engine bay in a sense and putting on the strut tower bar so let's go ahead and do that and that might wrap up the video for today but we will see all right guys it is about 9 30 at night now i started working on the car at one o'clock today so i've had a full full day of it but just for everybody's viewing pleasure um before i let you go on this one i went ahead and set on the intake manifold and so and i got the headlights in and the tail lights in so let's check it out so here's what we got going on. The intake manifold is obviously just sitting there and the charge pipe is just kind of hanging out there and it's not hooked on down there either. That's why it's not quite lining up right, but it does line up right. I got all the headlights wired up. I just have to kind of clean up some wiring. Um, you can see that's where the cold air intake grabs its air. Uh, put the filter on that. So got our strut tower bar on and you can see color matched the strut tower outer bits with the same color as the powder coat job. So yeah, looks sick, super excited, super happy with how it's turning out. I just need a couple more days like today where just have no distractions, keep grinding on it. And yeah, super excited to hopefully get this thing going here soon. But first, before I let you go, Check out the rear end, got the tail lights in, looking sick. 
If anybody has suggestions, I'm thinking about taking the decals off just to make it look really, really sleek. Suggestions drop in the comments, but without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys go. Go home and get some rest. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned, peace.